we're gonna go through and show you how we go about freezing our blueberries. We just end up getting about 20 pounds worth from a local place that we pick by hand. Okay, we've already started doing some. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the ones we have in the freezer out and we'll start from there showing you. Okay, you can see we have some trays here. We'll show you that a little bit better in the kitchen. All right, so here you can see we have these already frozen. We usually do it for about an hour and a half, but you can see these are actually hard and frozen. We put them on this, but we do this parchment paper that has like a plastic coating on it, and this keeps them so they don't stick together. So now we're just gonna get these. I'm gonna put them all into one tray. Go, there we go. All right, so they're all dumped on here now. These are all the frozen ones. All right, we got our scale. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. So we actually do about 10 ounces. We found that works pretty well for us and our usage. So we're gonna get that set up, put our bowl in there, hit our tear to make it back to zero. All right, so there's 10 ounces. Now we get our little baggie. And you can see why we use a square bowl, it makes it easier to pour. Do your clothes about three quarters of the way across and then bend it over. And we just kind of squeeze it to get the air out, seal it off the rest of the way. And that's one bag done. All right, so while my wife is actually bagging up more of those, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other ones that we have chilling in the fridge that we already pre-washed. All right, you can see we got a bucket here. These are ones that we have pre-washed, so I can go ahead and start loading up trays while you know the wife is bagging up the other ones right now. Now these are the ones from the fridge that are not frozen yet. They've just been chilling. So these have all been washed and dried. We'll show you how we did that then here in a little bit too. The whole thing we try to do is one single layer. You don't want them to be doubled up. That way they would stick. These are the ones that are from the fridge. They're not frozen yet. The frozen ones are now in this bag. So these three trays we're gonna take out, put in the deep freeze for another hour and a half. Now the next step we're gonna go through is actually we're gonna show you how we wash them. All right, and these are put on here just that way you can make sure you inspect for stems or any leaves or anything else that you don't want on them and to get some of the moisture dried off. Once these gets dried, we're gonna put them in a bucket and we'll show you how we use the same towel we dry them with as a funnel. And that's all there is to it. Just keep rinsing and repeating. And once the bucket's full, I'm gonna put that back in the fridge. Then an hour and a half, we're gonna do it again until we get through all 20 pounds of the blueberries. Been a long time of, you know, an hour and a half each batch getting all these done, but we'll show you how many bags we have now. It came out to just shy of 20 pounds of blueberries. So you can see we have all these bags frozen and those in there also. So that's what we got for blueberries. The last us, it'll probably last us about five months.